As most of you already know, Originality.ai has released a new AI detection model, which is called the Turbo 3.0 model. And a lot of you are telling me that the prompts that I have for low AI detection, specifically when using Claude, do not work to bypass Turbo 3.0. But if you actually go ahead and use Turbo 3.0, it is very, very hard for you to bypass. It doesn't work very well. It gives you a lot of false positives, meaning that you can enter content that is actually written by humans, and it will still tell you that the content is um, AI detected. So even when you go to use originality.ai, they tell you, they had a disclaimer that would tell you that if you are very, very sensitive to AI being detected in your content, do not use the 3.0 model because it can give you false positives. They actually default to using the 2.0 model. For example, I went ahead and used the prompts that I have shared with you guys, the low AI detection prompts. If you want to check those out, it will be in the description below. And I went ahead and generated an article um, using that same process. So essentially, I told the AI, I want you to write following these instructions. It went ahead and it wrote me a draft article. I believe the topic was how to become a better CEO. And then what I did was I copied over that content, head over to Markdown to HTML. This is a little trick. Um, I find that works really well. You want to convert your content before going and testing it. And then let's go ahead and copy this over and we'll do a new test on the, let's do the 3.0 model first. So we're going to scan this model. So as you can see, the content is 100% AI written and 0% original. Now let's go ahead and switch between the 2.0 model and see if there's a difference in the output. As we can see, the content is 65% original when I do 2.0. When I actually scanned it before, this, it was a 90. So for example, if I go back to my old scan, and that's the problem with originality.ai, it is very, very inconsistent, right? Sometimes you're able to get, for example, here, if you take a look at this content um, that I already scanned, this was a 90% original, and this is the same article, right? How to level up your game as a CEO. So it's very inconsistent. Sometimes you get a low AI detection score, sometimes you don't. And especially if you use a 3.0 model, it's very, very hard for you to bypass AI detector, even if your content is human written. So I wouldn't worry too much about AI detection scores. As I mentioned before on this channel, I recommend just writing really, really good AI generated content. And usually you would have no problem ranking. So the prompt that I was referring to is the SEO optimization plus low AI detection prompts. In my opinion, this is one of the best prompts that I have. So essentially what you do is you first start off by priming the AI. So you just go ahead and copy over all of this information and then you would pop it into Claude like this. And then you'd ask Claude, do you understand yes or no? Essentially, we're just priming it to write the content in a specific way. So once we've primed the AI, then you can then go ahead and write the content like I usually would. So you can tell it to... Um, now, following these instructions above, I want you to write an article, but first start by writing an outline about whatever topic that you have in mind. Then you can paste that in this second section here. I just went ahead and wrote the article for that example, but then you can paste it in here. I tell the AI to start writing the content or start writing the outline. And then from that outline, you can then write the full article or a additional step in which you can do is you can combine, you can scrape some of the top ranked outlines from some of the some of the top ranked uh, blog posts for a specific keyword. So again, for example, the keyword in this article was how to become a better CEO or how to level up your game as a CEO. So I can go on Google, search that search up that keyword, and then I can go up to some of the top ranked blog posts, use Harpa AI, so control A, and I can use GPT four, and then I can tell it that I want you to extract the outline from this blog post, right? And once I have that outline, then I can paste it into Claude, tell Claude to combine the outline that it just generated with this new outline. And then once I'm happy with, let's say, the, the new comprehensive SEO outline, then I can use the um, last prompt, which tells the article or tells the AI to write the full article. And then if you need to, you can expand the article. So if you guys want to see a full tutorial of how to do this, I do um, show you guys how to do this in my paid course. The paid course is in my school community. It's only $10 per month. You'll get access to very in-depth tutorials that I haven't done on my YouTube channel. I go a little bit deeper in this course. I have content about how to write on various um, types of content. So if you want to check out the community, again, it's only $10 per month. And once you get access to the community, you will also get access to um, 
to the course automatically. You will also get access to live teaching. So we did a live training yesterday and it went really, really well. So if you wanted to get kind of one on one access or access in a small group in which you can ask different questions, you will also get access to live training and the course immediately when you enter. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link for the community in the description below today's video. But of course, you can also go through all of my free content on YouTube. I have hundreds of videos on SEO and AI. So if you want to check those out for free, no problem. You can check it out for free. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that it gave you some insights on using originality.ai i wouldn't worry too much about trying to bypass 3.0 i don't think that's going to be a benchmark for whether or not your content ranks or not i would recommend if you're still worried about um, ai detection use the standard 2.0 model if you bypass that you're good to go peace and i'll see you guys in the next video